Cat Williams, in all honesty, must be one of the most bravest and truthful men out in Hollywood right now. And if you don't know who Cat Williams is, he's a comedian and he's been around for years. He's also been somebody who's been really speaking up about certain situations for a very long time. This is nothing new in all honesty. So if you guys haven't seen Cat Williams speak on certain topics about the entertainment business, you need to Google it. So Cat Williams recently went on the Shannon Sharpie uh, podcast and let's just say he was not holding back on anything. He talked about how certain entertainers stole jokes, were asked to do certain favors that he just didn't get down with. He says he's actually turned down a lot of opportunities in this Hollywood industry because he wanted to stay firm on his boundaries and honestly live to an area that he thought is very respectful and in all honesty and has a lot of integrity and he says that money is not going to make him do things that he don't want to do and I 100% agree with him and he says he is one of the richest men in the world because of this and I agree so let's take a look at his birth chart and see why is Cat Williams so dang fascinating so first off Cat Williams is a Virgo sun he is a Leo rising and he has an Aquarius moon. So first of all, I wanna talk about him being a Virgo. Virgos are known for standing firm in certain situations. They are a earth sign. They're also seen as a sign that really analyzes situations and they really take that area of analyzation fully, not just for the current situation, but also for areas in many years. Virgos are also seen as passionate and they tend to have a caring heart and they do have an energy that is related to caring for others. And like I said before, Virgo's got that strong mind, that strong will, because let's be honest, they got Mercury ruling them. Another thing that points out to me is the fact that he is a Lee. Oh, rising and Leo risings are known for being brave, courageous, and they are also known for being very determined in certain situations. They have a lot of willpower. They are seen and ruled by the sun. So they have a lot of solar plex chakra energy, which makes them strong, determined, and in all honesty, they don't back down easy. And then let's talk about that Aquarius moon. I mean, in all honesty, Cat Williams top three, big three, whatever you want to call it, that moon, that emotional side to him, that area of caring about the collective, but he's also going to need his space and he does not want to be part of your group. So that means he's not a sellout. He's not going to sell out to his areas of morale and what he thinks is ethically right. Also, Cat Williams is going to do what he wants to do because he knows it's the right thing. And he does care about a lot of people. And as you see, Cat Williams, even though he may not be, quote unquote, as mainstream as a lot of people would say some of these other comedians are, he has a strong community and a strong collective who feels like they get him. They get his spiritual vibe. They get his area of acknowledgement. They also get kind of like what he's talking about. And some people don't understand what he's talking about. And they might say, this is like way too, you know, this is way too much for me. But he is literally moving on a higher vibration than most of us. And one of the reasons why is because because he is a life path 11. And even though a life path 11 can sometimes have some chaotic energy, in the most part, they really analyze and have a good head, strong head on their shoulder because of other times in their lifespans or other lifespans of the past have brought them to that master level. Guys, this is a lot of this is a lot deeper than what it may seem. And in all honesty, by him talking about the truth, he's talking about a lot of things that's wrong with today's life, with today's society, and today's area of greed, fame, and overall insecurities that's basically ruining the collective. And let's talk about his Jupiter in Scorpio at 28 degrees. In all honesty, Cat Williams is an amazing comedian. He is funny, he's very smart, and he gets it. But one of the things I wanna point out is that area of 28 degrees, a lot of people see that maybe as the fame degree. And 
When we look at Scorpio, Scorpio is known as hidden secrets. It's also known at that area of being kind of intimate and also dark. It has a lot of rebirth in areas that might seem a little shady. And what I want to say is that Jupiter makes it where he wants to talk about it. He wants to talk about the shade. He wants to talk about the hidden areas that me and you won't see, but he's already seen it and he's going to bring it forward because that Jupiter is all about expansion. It's also about creating areas of abundance. So he knows that creating these areas of abundance is going to come from him being as truthful as possible. I also love the fact that he has his Mercury in his first house, which is aligned with the area of his Leo. This energy is going to make his communication seem very strong, very brave, and it's going to break a lot of energy where people are going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe he's talking about that. But he is, and he doesn't care. And he's going to continue to address certain situations. So if you're hiding stuff, you've done some shady shit in the past, and you know it, he's probably going to talk about it. Also, his Venus is in Virgo, which lets me know that he is all about that area of creating alignment in his relationships and really thinking about his relationships. It's funny because they talked about marriage. I do think that he is open to it, but in all honesty, he's got to have a very strong trust and bond with one individual before he can make that commitment. And right there, maybe he just, you know, isn't in that place yet. But not only is his moon in Aquarius, but so is his Mars. And the Mars in Aquarius lets me know that he is very passionate. He is very assertive. He is very dominant when it comes to the collective. He is here to bring awareness to the collective, to help the collective, to let the collective know that they too can have numerous opportunities to be one of the richest people in the world as Cat Williams because every day he wakes up blessed because he is living in his aligned energy and his life purpose. So my hat's off to him and I respect his, um, his interview. I don't think he went out there and was being shady. He was just telling the truth.